our technique called single follicle extraction and transfer, also known as the UMAR procedure, is knife free. Our protocol has enabled the transfer of hair from the back of the head, the body and beard to the balding areas of the head. The result is the expansion of the number of available donor hair for transplantation. Significantly, we have found the application of body and beard hair to be very useful in the treatment of repair patients. This is one of our index cases of body hair transplantation. He is also known in the hair loss blogs as So Far So Good. He's had multiple hair transplant procedures using all the techniques with a resulting hairline that wasn't too bad by hair transplantation standards. However, because of by nature of the technique itself, the kind of hair used in the hairline is such gives you a slightly harsh outcome, which So Far So Good wanted to change. year mark so far so good is exceedingly happy with this procedure would I be correct in saying that absolutely okay before the procedure how would you typically keep your hair sometimes I would comb it to the side or slightly disguise the hairline mm -hmm. um, as time went on I was more and more self-conscious about the transplanted hairline because my first procedure was back in 1992 uh, but now you know I just get out of the shower brush my hair straight back maybe put in some product and forget about it. It's quite something that I owe to, to Dr. Umar. As you can see now, he's able to actually brush his hair, not only slick back, but also to tie it uh, behind in a ponytail, which is the ultimate sign of uh, confidence in uh, exposing your hairline. As you can see, the hairline now is exposed to the wall with nothing to hide. It does look um, quite natural with even the usual fine diminutive hair that you have in a hairline. This is all leg hair derived. It looks very soft and we created three widow's peaks. The first widow's peak is the one in the middle, which you can see, that one right there, very subtle but quite significant. And then in, on either sides of the major widow's peak are the two smaller ones. There's the one there, and there's the other one. So this has succeeded in creating an irregular hair margin, which is more of what exists in nature. Also, looking at the hairline right now will not give a good understanding of how much work was required to, to achieve this look from where we started. We actually had to shave the original hairline about one centimeter back and implant hairs in between the hairs as well as uh, what you currently see in front of the hairline which is about one to half a centimeter in front of the hairline. So the extent of the work actually extends at least one centimeter behind the older hairline. This is just to give an appreciation of what is required to get this done. Here we have a view of the legs. Uh, this is, these are the areas from which the leg hair was derived for the hairline work was, that was done. From this distance, it looks quite good at the over two year mark. The healing has been quite remarkable. How long did it take for it to totally fade away after the surgery? I would say it was completely undetectable at two to three months. As close as I look, I can't tell that there's anything's been extracted from my legs. A hair transplant or any uh, cosmetic surgery, a very important factor is how much the general public detects the detectability of the work done. Uh, it's of importance. The ideal situation is we want no detection at all. It tells you that uh, the work has been successful. It's quite remarkable. I mean, I never get any of this up and down look from the hairline to my eyes and I just can't express how thankful I am to have the freedom to be able to just comb my hair straight back and that was my goal and I feel like we've more than achieved that. I do work in the entertainment business so I do interact with a lot of folks that work in front of the camera as well as behind the camera. Many of them have had different types of work done themselves and no one seems to have any clue that I've ever had any type of cosmetic surgery let alone uh, my hair um, and when I do point it out to them uh, everyone is, is quite amazed and when I explain that body hair was used to feather my, my older work, um, I think that takes it to a new level. It makes people wonder what could the doctor do with someone who's never had any surgery at all. So particularly for repair work, I think it's outstanding.